If you like me, good morning. Part of my appearance, as you can tell, very handsome. Um, you ever been looking on your Facebook timeline or somewhere like that? But usually Facebook for those of us, because everywhere else you don't really see this. But you ever see, look on your Facebook timeline and you look up and you see somebody that you you either cool with or know or work with or whatever, and find out that they're no longer with us. It's the wildest shit ever. Right? There's a poet, uh, Strawberry Taylor. You know, she verbal intercourse and uh, a whole bunch of erotic stuff. And, and she started here in Chicago and then she got a thing. She had a show in Las Vegas. Looked up this morning and someone said she passed away. Hey, Mo, good morning. She passed away. I mean, have you ever been on your timeline? Right? I, I, I've had a few friends. I've had a few friends this happened to. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, John. Hey, Sonny, good morning, brother. I got to come see you Friday morning, so I need an appointment. Um, have you ever just been on your timeline and looked up and found out somebody, either you might even just talk to them, just saw them, and they are no longer with us, right? And some shocking shit. And the first thing you say is, I just saw that person. I just was with that person, Right? And it, 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 it makes it feel a little bit better when you had a positive interaction with them or whatever. You know, it, you know, you had a good word, you had a good time or whatever. I have seen that five times this year so far. And it's March. And I know life and death go hand in hand and all that. But it's still some wild sh to see somebody. You just talk to them, had a laugh with them, and they're no longer here. So you're like, champ, what are you, what are you saying this for? Well, I'm saying this for a lot of y'all are wasting a lot of time. A lot of y'all are wasting a lot of time on trivial stuff, you know, and this ascension and progression that I'm on, I've, I'm, I'm learning to let certain things go, to get them off my chest, get them off my chest, and then go ahead about my way. Get them off my chest, get on about my way, and that energy, more than likely negative, is gone. A lot of y'all are dwelling, a lot of your posts, you're dwelling on stuff that either you can't control and need to let it go or you can control and haven't controlled it. This life thing, this life thing is like right now. Right. See? You, you exactly. It's man, I'm telling you. And don't let it be one of your buddies, your homies or something like that. You look up and you like and it rocks you. I was sitting, I think I might have been in an audition and found out a buddy of mine, a, a, a Mason brother of mine. Cool dude. Just not too long ago, got married and everything. From mutual friend inboxing, hey, you know he's gone. Rest in peace, Richard. He's gone. And I was like, what? I just talked to him. Exactly. It does feel. It does. You're right, John. It does feel a little bit better. And then at the same time, wait a minute. And this this is gonna sound a little twisted. At the same time, it feels a little worse um, if you had a positive interaction with him and and then they're gone. But this is just to say, and I'm, I won't be long-winded today. It was just something I saw because I just saw that with this poet I know. And she's very influential to erotic poetry here in Chicago and far-reaching. She, I mean, she, she's she been around a while. I think I first started doing actual poetry in like uh, 2008, 2009. She'd been doing it before that. She'd been doing it. She'd been doing it before that, long before that. So she had been around. And it's looked up like, whoa. Okay. Wow. I was on the show of hers, matter of fact, a few years ago. And it was like, man, you know. And, and so you say that like there's no time on it. There's no designation, no age. You see people losing kids and stuff like that. And, and I'm not going to be melancholy, so I always put a positive spin on it. Make sure you exercise in life, man. Like, make sure you exercise in life like right now. Like, make sure you're getting up, you're smiling, finding a reason to laugh, finding your purpose. Finding, finding the reason that this life means something to you. Like me, man, I, I'm a creative. So I got to write something. I got to read something. I got I to gotta recite something. I got to record something. I got to audition for something. I got to act for something. I got to do something. I got to do something. My mom handed me this. This is pretty dope. It's pretty dope. It says, it's called The Time Is Now. If you're ever going to love me, love me now while I can know. The sweet and tender feelings which from true affection flow. Love me now while I'm living. You're not waiting till I'm gone. 
and then have it chiseled in marble. Sweet words and, and on an ice cold stone. If you have tender thoughts to me, please tell me now. If you wait until I'm sleeping, never to awaken, there will be death between us and I won't hear you then. So if you love me, even a little bit, let me know why I'm living so I can treasure it. So that and also, thanks boss, that and also your purpose, man. Like most of y'all on, on this thing right now, y'all involved in some sort of, y'all artists like me. Y'all doing something, y'all auditioning, y'all on set, y'all writing, y'all acting, y'all doing stuff. Man, do something, man. Do something with this time you got here. Positive. Be positive. Even if it seems crappy that day or whatever, be positive. Man, if you got if you got uh, offspring kids or whatever, man, be positive with them. Make sure you're a good influence in them. But, man, most of all for yourself because you can't do anything for anybody else if it's not taking care of yourself first. Be positive. Be productive, man. Be great. Anybody can be mediocre. We got a lot of that walking around. Be great. Aspire. Because if you fall short, you then you're good. And that's not bad. You try and be great, try to be the best at it, and you fall short or whatever. Depend, but it all depends on who. You could be great in your head. And that's and what's worse than that? There's nothing bad about that. So that's all, man. I saw that. And then, like I said, I saw it happen to a few times. I done looked up on my timeline. Like, damn, for real? And just, uh, it's kind of janky. But it's also a reminder. It's also a reminder. Life is right now. There's nothing to say. At some point in time, that you're still going to be here. Have a great day out there. Be safe if you're in Chicago. It's supposed to warm up, but it's supposed to be raining. So be safe out there driving and traveling. Uh, be great. Have a great day, all right? Be good. Peace.